Will I ever get out of this tower? <laughs> yes, did I, the window cleaner, who's <laughs> taken a fancy to your bosom. So the fundamental rule of improv is yes and. So someone starts something, starts creating a world, and then everyone else uh, yeses to that. Uh, so they accept what's been said and what's been established uh, and then they add to it so that's the and part so that's kind of how you build a world uh, in improv you build on a world together and you gradually sort of add things to that and then you start having a scene and then funny things kind of come out of nowhere from your subconscious and you try actually to not uh, go out to try and be funny and think of funny lines in advance you kind of let the funny stuff come out uh, of what weird things have been created I dare say if we don't win this paella competition, Paolo, I don't know what we'll do to fix our friendship. <laughs> Three lines here. <laughs> like, don't say marriage, don't say marriage. <laughs> I was initially doing some acting lessons during my undergrad, and then I saw there was an improv class going on as well, and realised I was much better without a script. So yeah, when I came to Oxford, I was really keen to get involved with the imps. You kind of practice the various skills, so you might practice how to try and vary your characters so that they're different. We never sort of practice a scene and then do that scene, but it's kind of the skills that go into making those scenes happen. Rehearsing for improv for me is most similar to practicing for a sport. So if you play for a sports team, you don't know how the game is going to play out, but you practice getting better at the skills that go behind it. When it comes to match day, you feel prepared for it. We're a kind of team that work together and we get used to working together and trusting each other and knowing how other people operate. The weirdest suggestion we've ever had. We had someone once in a show who like had a blender with them and then suggested like this is this is my suggestion. We do a game where we ask for periods of history uh, and someone shouted out uh, medieval Belgium um, which I think was probably one of my favourites. The fun thing is that everyone supports each other so you can never really look awful. <laughs> so even if you have like slightly forgotten something then someone else will come and help you with that so it's very much a supportive uh, activity. The other thing that is really big in improv and really important is listening skills. Uh, making sure that you're listening to people and taking in what they're saying and making and incorporating it into your own ideas. So for me that's a big one uh, is kind of being more open to other people's ideas. God is my lie. <laughs> Pardon? Wait. God is, no. That's not what I meant. God is my witness. And. Yes. Gardener. That's how you get your garden so pristine by the power of God. Oh, Holy Jesus. Helps. Insane. <laughs> <laughs>